Hey, Planeswalkers, welcome to this week's episode of Friday Night Meta, my friends. It is yours truly here, Meta Master Mithras, to equip you with the best decks, to equip you with the best information on what's going on right now, how we got here, and where we're going in terms of the meta. So, Planeswalkers, what we're going to do is we're going to walk through a recap. We'll go into the best of one and best of three. We'll cover off on a key deck and then close it out with what may have impacted all the events that we see today. So, uh, flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video or you're jacked about uh, what we got going on here. Additionally, I apologize. I've been sick this week. I'm a little stuffed up. Allergies, all oh, whatever. So, Done with the excuses, let's get to it because it's important. Um, and with that said, in terms of recap last week, a couple of notable things. First and best of one, um, Mono White Life Gain was dethroned, so we'll talk a little bit more about that here today. Winata was starting to show its face again um, versus the previous weeks where it started to recede a little bit. Um, best of three, we saw some pull through continuing on from the last SCG 5K um, with Nye Adventures tokens. Um, whatever you want to say there, uh, insert Naya deck kind of a thing. Um, and then additionally, um, Salt Eye Ultimatum continued to pace um, and keep moving as a percentage of the deck. Uh, field in terms of generally you could expect one in five decks for, for best of three assault ultimatum. We covered off on uh, cycling. Um, you guys can and gals can absolutely check that out and talked about some fun events um, out there as well and some great feedback. So thank you to everyone in the community um, as always on that. So today, what do we got going on? Best of one right here right now this is the latest and greatest i'm going to get that up there so you can see it um boros winata blowing through to the top again here having a healthy win rate um still in the best of one current meta this is the broader snapshot and we'll come back to this here in a little bit uh, mono white life gain boros uh, or sorry four color cycling uh, mono red snow aggro and then the rest the biggest pieces there mono black auras and gruel adventure um on the bottom side there now again in terms of popularity boros Manata is the key deck mono red snow aggro uh, mono white life gain Salt Ale Tomatum, and then as follows. So, um, just between Boros Winata and Mono Red Snow, you're seeing roughly 25% of the meta. Um, so one in every four games, you can expect to see those two right now. Um, we'll go down and look at some of the trends. So again, it had kind of receded like we talked about, and then it blew through here. Um, lots going on. Um, everything else is kind of leveled. So um, even Mono Red. So it's a big thing to pay attention to. Um, the other thing here then, as we look at some of the win rates, uh, they've been kind of going sideways. So same thing with Winata, even though it's uh, having the best win rate, still going sideways. Um, we see Mono White Life Gains, the ones kind of being depressed but coming back up which makes sense uh when we see a lot of the mono red aggro and then everything else really really dropping off heavy um which is pretty crazy so we'll keep an eye on that um as we get more competitive as we drill in here to platinum and above we certainly know um that at this part in the season almost midway through um really important to look here again boros Winata still being at the top mono white life gain mono red snow aggro so pretty reflective the biggest ones just really a cycle deck dropping off a little bit meta um shifting heavily this this way as well um, and we can see what's going on here um, making a big 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 difference um similar paths uh, like we said but uh life gain doing a little bit better here um, at the higher end of the competitive play um, so all big things keep in mind now we're going to flip over um, i'm going to apply back because i missed this one so well we'll go to best of three here um, and take a look so here in best of three this is what we got going on mono red snow aggro with the best uh win rate salt eye ultimatum again still being the most popular still being around that 20 percent one in five um, we continue to see that just massive massive rocket ship to the moon um, going on um, interestingly like we've talked about we continue to see mono white aggro doing well in the meta um, tied with mono red aggro so it makes a lot of sense white aggro tends to sometimes hold up better or at least does hold up better against salt ultimatum um, with the good old 3-1 where you can discard so it, can't, it takes a little bit more to get that off the board where we can continue to keep doing damage we got our team returns deck we got nine adventures still in there 
is it Prismari starting to come back up? Um, so this is a big one to keep an eye on. Then we see a lot of the other stuff. The other one to keep an eye on is Rocco Sacrifice here, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I've had a few players ask me about that one this week. Um, definitely on my to-do list. Uh, so, so keep an eye out. There's a few variations of it right now. Um, so we'll continue to see how, how things play out. Again, here's what we got going on in terms of percentage played. Um, and then we can see a little bit more of that 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 uh, trend analysis here as we look. Salt Tail Tomatoum, heavy on a red snow aggro, again, to be expected. Um, Rogues falling off, Nye Adventures leveling out. Uh, team Returns dropping. Is it Prismari becoming more popular like we talked about? Rakdos, Sacrifice, really popping up here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, Mono White Snow Aggro. And then again, as we continue to look at some of these win rates, um, is it Prismari coming back up? Where's where's our Sack deck? So Sacrifice deck's not doing super good, but we saw that already, but we saw that huge bump um, in the play. So a lot of times we see some of those hiccups in the win rates as players adjust and learn, learn how to play the deck a little bit more in the meta. So that is what we got going on. Let's drill in again a little bit more to some of the competitive stuff here because um, that's what you want to see. Mono white aggro being number one. So big, big thing there. Um, so keep an eye on that. Again, everything else kind of similar. Sacrifice still in this. Um, same thing with some of the metas shifting to 19%. Um, we see all the similar things really becoming depressed, uh, compressed and depressed, I guess, because they're all going in the same spot. Um, and then mono red. So, uh, really, really big here with Salt Ultimatum taking off. Like we said, when we covered that deck uh, towards the beginning when I played it, it was the first time that I actually felt uh, a lot more smooth. Um, so it makes sense with, with the current meta. So again, we'll look at what we got going on. These win rates still it's definitely staying steady um, and going sideways. And again, Salt Ultimatum just always baffles me because it's it's just a consistent deck, I guess, um, in terms of what you're playing there. It has a healthy win rate. Um, you know, obviously at 55 percent ish, but there are some that that are a little bit better. Um, but again, just absorbing huge, huge, vast amount of the meta. So that's what we got going on Planeswalkers this week. Um, we've seen a few changes here and shifts in both best of one and best three. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, now we're going to talk about one of the key decks here um, because that's a big, big piece. Um, so we're actually going to go back to best of one. We've covered Boros Banana. You guys can absolutely check that out. Let's go look at the matchups here, though. This is what I wanted to get to is where the win rate was not good. So we're in the best of one. Here we see Mono Black Auras. Now, it's not a huge uh, population. Uh, but it's an important population, mono black auras. So um, we've had a debate about this actually um, in the Discord server. You can absolutely go in there and check it out. But the biggest things here is you not that the some of the newer versions, um, particularly in best one, didn't really pick anything up um, from the latest and greatest. Now the biggest piece is really seeing some a lot of people talk about Fiend in here. Um, we can go ahead and search by win rate. Um, so again, you can consider and see which one's the best. This makes a lot of sense because you're constantly removing things off the board here um, in your best of one. You're bringing things back. They're going to help kind of jam up the, the matches. Um, so very important there uh, in terms of this. I'll have a deck list uh, link and video and all that to a great uh, version from Kaldeheim. Um, like I said, we've been debating it in, uh, in the Discord, so feel free to hop in there too. Um, with that, that's the one deck that I want to spotlight was really how to beat Boros Winata. What's it weak against? Because as you can see, when we go back to the matchups, pretty favorable. Um, oh, this is the wrong one. Uh, we'll go back to our Boros Winata. Uh, Boros Winata is pretty favorable against a lot of the meta. Boom. That's pretty healthy if you ask me, right? We may get there. There we go. All right. Um, again, really these two maybe three. So uh, important to see that. Uh, so your best bet, if you're if you're gunning to play against Boros, Winata, and best of one, maybe you should be playing Auras. Um, and Auras does have good win, win rates against other decks, obviously, particularly aggro. So um, that's what we got. Now we're going to wrap into and jump into 
really what would have impacted um, this meta here. So again, we go check out the MTG tournaments here, uh, uh, melee tournaments. We're gonna go over to our Strixhaven Championship. Um, so this was a big one. This was this past weekend. Obviously lots of, of uh, qualifiers to get in. Great decks there as well. Um, but here's what we got going on in this particular event. Uh, boom, Saltai Ramp Yorian continues to be a huge, huge piece of that meta so congratulations lucas um, on taking things down there um, and and uh, holding steady with the salt eye ramp deck um, again we have four color adventures this one's kind of a newcomer it's pretty interesting um, so we'll keep an eye on this one i've seen a few variations of this deck now as well um, so so keep out or keep an eye out for that um, we got Rakdos Sacrifice, so this one's pretty sweet. Um, again, one of the things that I've said to keep an eye out on because uh, there's a few versions of this one. Um, running some fairly interesting new pickups here as well. This one uh, isn't running the one that I was expecting um, with the Mythic 4 drop. Um, that's the, That's got the 8 cast modal uh, where you sack it and you get the 3-6 haster that deals 3 damage just when it attacks. Then your opponent sacrifices a guy. Um, um, at least I don't see it anywhere when I look at it really quick here. Um, but those are all big things uh, to keep in mind. Um, so as we saw, this has really been one of the big pushes. Um, Ramp's been a big push, but now here's another big one. We do have Maxim Salem here um, running mono green aggro. Um, so again, seeing that this runs uh, well in the meta is nice is nice to see as well. Oh, and there's one of my favorite cards, Shadow Spear. So if you're in the Discord server, you know the joke and all that. So anyway, nah, enough said. So with that, Planeswalkers, um, let's get back here uh, because it's important for you to see that. We'll flip back to the meta um, and we'll kind of close out today's uh, Friday night meta weekly episode. So we gave you a recap. Uh, we talked about the cool stuff in best of one. We talked about the cool stuff in best three in terms of the changes. We, we pulled those two things together in terms of the data, in terms of some of the value and quali qualitative things um, that we saw coming out of last weekend's championship. There was some stuff in Big Magic as well, um, a lot of little kind of fired off tournaments. Um, I do like to cover that, but my Japanese is not good. So um, if, if anyone wants to pitch in sometimes and, and help me understand that, happy to do so. Um, but the uh, bigger impacts again with the 5K uh, Strict Saving Championship like we discussed and then i equipped you with the deck mono black auras uh, to help you take down boros winata so um hope you enjoyed that flip me a like if you enjoyed today's video great ways to support the channel um feel free um to check those out down below in the timestamps. again information deck weekly article website information to, to stay on top of this stuff as well will be there for you um, and great ways to support the channel shout out to the patrons uh as well as youtube members um so thank you very much for that support as well as all the twitch uh subscribers um and supporters there as well so um, planeswalkers thank you very much um i'm hoping we get rid of this head colds thing that's been kind of dragging on for me now the kids are sick or or we're negative on the COVID, so that's good. Um, so stay safe, stay safe, stay vigilant out there. Um, we all want to get back and play uh, in person. I'm looking forward to that um, and playing with you in person. So um, until next time, uh, we got a lot of things coming your way. We got top decks, we got tier lists coming soon. I'm going to get some more historic decks out here for you too. Um, and then obviously, uh, more weekly meta. So um, take care, planeswalkers. Mithras out. Oh.